Uh, well, speaking of speaking of the question about finding a vector perpendicular to a plane, how many vectors are there? Well, infinitely many, right? So, how can I specify something to to have a unique answer? So, what I'm asking there is this particular question is to have that vector u a unit vector. So you can do whatever work you need to find some vector. So you found v. And v is perpendicular. But I'm asking you to input into WebAssign not v, but something else. I'm asking you to input a unit vector. A different vector. Uh, do you know how to make any vector a unit vector? Divide by the magnitude. Divide by the magnitude. So you found this vector and then you keep working on the problem. You say take that, divide by its magnitude, and then you get a unit vector. Now, how many unit vectors are there perpendicular to this plane? Is there only one unit vector perpendicular to the plane? Infinitely unit, unit means magnitude 1, right? So this is a unit vector. So think of this as horizontal plane. Any vector perpendicular to horizontal plane is vertical. How many vertical vectors are there of magnitude 1? 2. Isn't that right? 1 going up and 1 going down. Right? If I tell you magnitude is 1, there are only two possibilities. So there are two possible answers, even if I ask you for a unit vector. And then how will I distinguish between these two? Well, I will ask you to choose the one with the x coordinate greater than 0. Well, I don't know, don't remember the specifics of what exactly I'm asking there. Maybe z coordinate is greater than zero. But, uh, but so you basically look at your unit vector and you look at x coordinate of that vector. If it is positive, submit. If it is negative, what do you do? Just negate everything. Take negative of whatever vector you got to get the right one. Uh, because I think I'm asking for all three coordinates of the vector. So if you have questions about uh, the difference between WebAssign and the uh, problem solved in the file, just let me know. And those differences are exactly technical like this. Just to make sure that your answer matches my answer without any doubt. And of course, there are exceptions, right? All kinds of exceptions. In this problem, it could be that x coordinate is zero, right? Well, then just send me an email, let me know. But the problems are randomized and they've never seen. Well, maybe a year ago, I had one student having this problem with coefficient zero. And you handle that manually. So if you ever have exceptional situation, just let me know, we'll resolve it. But otherwise, I don't expect to happen. It's like all the lines are skew if you choose them randomly. All the problems on WebAssign will have positive or negative x value, not zero. All right, so have a good weekend. Work on the homework. Uh, I will see you Monday, and we will finish playing.